would you find that to be important, whether or not we really had to go October the 1st, given the fact that we weren't ready to go on October the 1st? Would you find that relevant, whether or not we actually had to launch a substandard product? Um, sir, I respectfully, I'm just a technology guy trying to... Don't decide. short, don't, don't, don't short yourself. You're the smartest one in the room. Well, that's not true, sir. <laughs> Trust me, I've been in this room for a while. It is true. <laughs> There is no law that requires that. So what Secretary Sebelius said was patently false. There is no law that required a go time on October the 1st, but I want to move to another component of her quote. Some of us don't consider texting, uh, testing to be a luxury, uh, but let's assume arguendo that she's right, that, that additional testing would have been a luxury that would have been nice to have. How much more testing would you have done prior to launching? So I'm not uh, deeply familiar with uh, the uh, development testing regimen that happened prior to October 1, so I um, can't really opine about that. Well, let me ask you this. Be because you are the smartest one in the room. I'm not, sir. And very good at what you do. Where in the heck were you for the first 184 weeks? If you're being asked to fix this after October the 1st, in a couple of weeks, where were you for the first 184 after the so-called Affordable Care Act passed? Where did they have you hidden? Uh, so, sir, uh, uh, in my role at the White House as USCTO in the Office of Science and Technology Policy, I'm a technology and innovation policy advisor, so I have a broad portfolio of responsibilities. But you're obviously good enough that they brought you in to fix what was broken. It's been called a train wreck. That's not fair to train wrecks. It's been called other things. They brought you in to fix it. Why didn't they bring you in to start it? Why didn't they bring you in to build it? Uh, so why, I'm part why are you doing a reclamation project? Why didn't you build it? Uh, I'm part of an all-hands-on-deck effort to mobilize across the administration to actually help under Jeff Science leadership. Um, and uh, uh, in the uh, lead-up to October 1, uh, that... Uh, wasn't part of my role. I was. When will it be uh, operational to your satisfaction? Well, we have a goal that the team is pursuing uh, with tremendous intensity. How many more weeks? Because I'm going to get asked when I go home. I know you can appreciate that. I'm going to get asked. When will it be operational? When will it be as good as it can get? Because you'll concede the first 184 weeks did not go swimmingly. Is it going to be another 184 weeks? Um, so, sir, I think the, the honest answer is that uh, there's, a, there's a team of incredibly dedicated public servants. I get all that. I'm looking for a hard. number. I'm looking for a number. We can interpret the poem later. I'm looking for a number. Uh, that's working hard to have the site functioning by the end of this month uh, smoothly for the vast majority of Americans. That's, that's the, the goal. The, the gentleman's time has expired. I might stipulate for the record that Mr. Park was at HHS at the time of passage and for that roughly first two years. So his expertise does come out of the origins of uh, Obamacare. Well, my, my question, Mr. Chairman, was simply if he's good enough to be brought in to fix it after the locomotive has crashed off the mountainside, where in the hell was he for the first 184 weeks when it was being broken? Well, why wait until it's crashed? If he's, a, if he's a savant, and I'm convinced he is, where's he been? I know the Obama girl is missing, but, but he wasn't. I think they found her, actually, the, the lady from the website. I think they found her. But where's he been? 